Legion, Season 2, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 12. Another episode I love. Suppose for everything X-Men leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TVMA, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So I thought this episode did a really great job using the fact that we see some of the same events multiple times. You know, this thing of we and David only gradually understand Sid by... You know, it, it is more difficult to understand something from an outside perspective. You know, if you live it, you have an easier time of it. You know, it's not necessarily easy as such, but yeah. And yeah, the this thing of, you know, as an infant Sid, you know, when when Joan touches her, she cries, and when she stops touching her, she stops crying. And so she she finds this idea of, you know, using, she puts like a pillow between them when, you know, I, th I think she's supposed to be like six or something, you know, and we do see Sid smile. And, let's see. We have the... Um, yeah, the the party where she's like dancing, and of course, you know, yeah, there's physical touch. There are in a lot of these, in yeah, a number of dance situations, and she they they do an effect with her face of like she she switches consciousness with some of the other dancers. Very very nicely done. Let's see, and yeah, I. I'm still not 100% certain if she was just pretending not to recognize David at the start. I think that might be it. She's saying, you know, you haven't done the work yet. You can't just barge in and pretend to understand me. And, yeah, you know, he describes the painting, which I don't think we ever actually see directly, but, you know, we, we don't really need to. And, and yeah, it does sound like what he's describing is how she perceives the world. And let's see. The, yeah, the scene of, of her as a teenager in school. And, you know, apparently, like, yeah, I guess we don't even know for sure. I, I tend not to believe people who are, like, assaulting someone when they say, you know, it's entirely possible that he's attracted to her, and so he makes up that she is, like, stealing glances at him. But, yeah, you know, there's a huge, even if he is telling the truth, there's a huge leap between she sometimes looks at him to, you know, her being ready to, to kiss him. And, you know, you've got the, the girls standing there laughing. And, yeah, the revenge of, you know, she, so, yeah, she does kiss him, knowing in that they'll switch bodies. And then she uses his body with, with you know, yeah, picks up the, I want to say, is like a lacrosse thing and, and hits the girls. And then, you know, when she's back in her own body... She tells the teacher that it was him hitting the, the girls you know, for no reason, which, yeah, you know, when, they, when they're asked, that's also what they're going to say. They have no idea about the body swap. So that is, you know, as, as you know, David later points out that, you know, that was a mistake, understandable, since, you know, she was just she was a teenager. Everybody makes mistakes when they're a teenager. I do appreciate, like, she, that. that is, like... Let's hype it, you know, if she had just kissed some rando and used his body, that would have been like, what, I don't know, does he really deserve that? But, you know, an argument could be made that he, you know, he's trying to force himself on this girl, and, yeah, she, you know, she gets even with, with both the girls and the guy. Let's see... Yeah, um, I really loved when, when David is trying to make sense of, of Sid and he's saying, okay, it's not the painting, it's the it's the kissing couple. You know, and like, 
people who have looked into it already know that scenes scenes of intimacy and affection are already awkward because the you know there's there's a lighting guy there's a sound guy there's the director telling you exactly how you know okay open open your mouth a little bit more okay yeah you know it's it's super awkward and then add to the fact that as they're you know cuz this is not they they didn't shoot these elements separately i'm almost 100% certain this was you know whilst the these two actors who might have met on the day you know it's not necessarily Although there's, it's a, it's awkward in a different direction if they are like, if they know each other and they're like in love, and and that's you know them expressing that. But whilst they're they're sitting there making out, they have to, you know, not at all react to to David, you know, walking around saying, you know, okay, so so this and this and this, you know, and then at the end of it, he's like, get a room, and let's. See. Yeah, and we see her cutting, which, you know, sadly a lot of people who are bullied. I, I did quite like when David, you know, tells the, the three singing girls, you know, get out of here. And they're like, they're scared because they didn't, you know, they didn't expect to get caught. You know, there's a lot of bullies who'll freak out the moment that an authority figure appears. And, and you know, he sits down and he's like, so I'm a teacher here. And, you know, she's like, this is, che you can't do this. This is cheating. You have to understand. You can't just ask me, you know. And this is clearly like adult Sid talking. Right. Um, then we see that, yeah, um... Carrie has to drag Carrie out of their shared body. And then Clark appears and, you know, hurriedly explains, well, yeah, you know, evidently we, we all woke up when the monk died, which does make sense. You know, he was the one causing it. We learned in the episode before this one. And then he's like, you know, now, you know, we're awake. Yeah, no shit. You know, everybody's awake. The, the... You know, we're we're dealing with three hundred angry people who all want to use the bathroom at the same time, and I'm like, is that what Zack Snyder's Three Hundred is really about? I mean, that explains why everyone's so intense. If they're all, if they all really badly gotta go, and yeah, Carrie with a C scans David and Sid. And I love, like, it looks like a, a, I don't know, like a hairbrush or a hand mirror or something, but it, like, uh, glows with blue neon light. Just, I love the gadgets on this show. Nothing I've ever seen in my life looks quite like this show does. And, yeah, David goes up to Sid, tries again, and still fails. And then we actually do see the event that we had previously been told about where Sid swapped bodies with Joan and I'm not really fond of when media depicts situations of like false rape accusations which ultimately you know he didn't know he really did think this is Joan you know, and yeah, Sid doesn't reveal the the truth. Joan thinks you know this this guy's pedophile, and he's arrested for it. I appreciate that we're you know it's the the show isn't saying that this is good or right. It is saying that this this is one of the mistakes Sid made when she was younger. The problem is that people see stuff like this and think that it's much more prevalent, not the body swap part, obviously, but, well, I'm sure there's a certain percentage of people who think the body swap as well, but way too many people think that, you know, false rape accusations are much more prevalent and much more life-destroying than they are. There's a lot of American media that's much more eager to depict false rape accusations compared to you know, rape act, if, yeah, rape where the victim, the, the survivor is not believed. Let's see, and, 
Right, and I, I quite liked, yeah, Sid's perception of love is that it's a hot bath. If you stay in too long, you know, you, you soften, you smolder. And by the end, she's ready to, you know, she and, she and David are in this big white void, and she's ready to, to come back out. But first, they're going to need guns, lots of guns. And, th yeah, they come to, and only here at the end of the episode do we get the In Association with Marvel Legion title card. And Lenny is back. I really look forward to finding out. I don't even know how she did that, because she was firmly trapped inside, you know, f the, the, yeah, with the mind of Farouk in Oliver's body, I guess it is. So, yeah, but, uh, yeah, she's... Probably my favorite character on the show. Definitely my favorite performance. So, yeah, really looking forward to, to more of her. I'll, I'll try to do an episode tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I can't make any promises. I think that is pretty much what I wanted to say. Right, all the, the different SIDs do really great acting. And they also did manage to find some that look a lot... You know, all of them, yeah, all of them look like Rachel Keller. Including the, uh, it's Lily Rape playing her mother. Honestly, there were scenes where I was like, is this just, is this Rachel Keller, but like in, in a little bit of prosthetic makeup or something, but it is apparently a, a different actress now. IMDb trivia. So let's see. Egon Sheila, whose work is shown in the gallery that Sid and David keep returning to, influenced Legion co creator Bill Zinkiewicz. And right, so yeah, he was an Austrian Vienna secession artist. And let's see. Hmm. Dan Stevens, who plays David, tweeted this was his favorite episodes of the series. Yeah, I, I can see how that... Really, my only issue was the, the false rape accusation scene. That was... Yeah. Um, let's see. Huh. And uh, let's see. I don't know if this is... That, yeah, this... Uh, no, this can't possibly be a spoiler. Yeah, just in case. Um, there's a scene where young Sid is trying on clothes that is somewhat similar to see, you know, some, something in, in Fargo, a show also created by Legion showrunner Noah Hawley. And let's see. Yeah, someone added as a, as a goof a character error, Sid, as an adolescent, is shown reading a book while wearing gloves. While she has learned to be cautious about touching other people, wearing gloves constantly would be detrimental to her skin, and she would not be wearing them if she didn't need to. Now, only one person voted this helpful. Twelve voted it not helpful. I mean, I think it's just supposed to be visual shorthand. It's supposed to make 100% clear that, you know, in, in part, this is Sid, although that, you know, is easy enough to, to deduce without, even without that, but primarily, you know, yeah, she is avoiding touch as much as possible. Let's see. And... Let's see. Um... Yeah, um... Great choice of, of music again and the yeah yeah if you're curious as to which the different ones all uh possibly not all but five of them are listed in the soundtrack section for this particular episode so you don't know anything you think ghosts like living in a haunted house watch it again